what if you had a special tool that would help you share exactly what you want with the divine and it was inevitable that when you shared it this way, it was going to come to you and you would receive the very thing that you desire. This is known as the law of attraction or manifestation. And there are certain ways to do it and techniques for setting and sending your intention that are guaranteed that it will come back to you. I'm Washayla Sananda. Thank you for joining me today. With a little disclaimer on that, while it is guaranteed that it'll come back to you, you do have to be prepared to receive it. Sometimes the universe, God, the divine is trying to give you something that you have requested. And if you're not open to receiving it, then how are you going to allow that to come into your life? And so this technique that I'm going to share today is a deep dive into how I do my intentions when I have a very clear, strong intention that I want to manifest in the world. These are the things that I do. And I have found when I do it this way, there is no doubt it is going to happen unless I block it. So let's jump in. I have seven steps to share with you today on how to manifest whatever it is that you desire. Number one is setting your intention properly. And so just a little bit about intentions. An intention, you always want it to be framed in the positive. You want to say things like I am or I have, rather than saying something such as um, I am not. And so an example on that is I am healthy versus I do not have this illness or sickness. Or maybe you're manifesting money to buy a house or a car or or something like that. Take a vacation. So you would say, I am grateful that I am taking this vacation or that I get to go to fill in the blank Thailand or wherever you want to go. Or I am grateful for my new car, my new house, whatever it is. Versus, you know, what you don't want to say is I don't have blocks to receiving the vacation, the car, the money anymore. See, you you never want to put that in it because if you say the thing that you don't want, that is your focus. And what you focus on expands. So if your focus is something negative and you're putting your attention on it, you're going to get more of that. And we don't want that. We want the positive. So always frame it for the positive. I am or I have, or I am grateful that any, you know, there are lots of other ways to do it as long as you're speaking into what you do want rather than what you don't want. The next step is that we're not just going to focus on sending your intention out. Once you have it, we're going to focus on bringing that intention in into your heart, your heart center. Your heart center is a portal. It's a portal of light. It's a portal of the divine. It is a portal for interacting and corresponding with consciousness, with the very life itself. And so this is the perfect place to bring your well-thought intention. It's framed in the positive. So I'm going to use the intention, I am whole. And I'm using I am whole because that's kind of an evolved intention for me. It started out as I am healthy and I am healthy for me was mostly regarding my body. And of course it can involve the emotions as well. I am whole is an evolution of that, not just body and emotions, but all of my life is whole. My relationships, my experience of life, my fulfillment, um, everything that I'm experiencing as part of life. If I'm feeling whole, if I am whole, it's all in alignment. It all feels good. My body is healthy. My mind is healthy. My emotions are up. Those are all elements of wholeness for me. And it also is without lack. Nothing is lacking. Nothing is missing. 
I really like the phrase, I am whole. Now this could be different for you. I'm just giving you an example of how I came to that and how it evolved for me and what it represents. So choose your words very wisely and with a lot of intention, because this is your interaction with the divine and really you're placing your order for what you would like your life to be like. So we bring the intention to the heart. I'm going to say I am whole for this one. So focusing on your heart center, you're really tuning in to the center of your heart and you're allowing the portal of energy that's in your heart to open. And then you bring your intention in and you just feel it. You can say it and you can experience, it's good to say it out loud, you can experience the feeling of saying it in your heart, I am whole. And notice, and you can say it internally as well, I am whole. How does it feel? How does it make your body feel? And this is the third one, feeling. You get, you get to feel it now. When you're really bringing it into the heart center and you're feeling it, what are your emotions when you are whole? For me, it's a feeling of, of nothing, like I said, nothing's lacking, this feeling of joy and love and peace and contentment and bliss even and expandedness and this, this really fulfilling experience. So I am fulfilled. I am whole. And I just start to, and you don't need to say all those things, but notice how does that feel what does that feel like in the body how does the body feel how do your emotions feel does it make you joyful does it lift your emotions if it doesn't lift your emotions then it's probably not the right intention you want to make sure that you're having an intention you're using an intention that brings your energy up that makes you feel good when you think about it you think what it what it makes you feel like you start to feel good you start to feel oh it feels so juicy and so oh so so good in the body and my body feels you know you're you're amplifying your frequency so turned on but not in that way turned on frequency wise you're amplifying your presence you're amplifying your energy you're really tuning up your energy by feeling this wholeness this fulfilled feeling and so whatever your intention is again run it by that experience of how does it feel and if it doesn't make you feel good there could be a couple of things going on here. It might be that you don't feel worthy of feeling that good or that you don't feel worthy of receiving the manifestation of the way that that fulfillment of that intention is going to make you feel. So then, you know, you have some work to do there. What is it that, what is it about me that has me not allow myself to feel good in having this intention realized. And so you can kind of unpack that. That's sort of for another video, but you know, then if it doesn't feel good, maybe you need to try a different word. What, what word can you use that makes you feel good, that uplifts your energy, that, that brings your emotions up, that makes your body feel good? What is it that that does make you feel good? And so you can use the words and the different intentions. If the first one doesn't work, try another one. Try another one until you really get that. Oh, yeah, that's it. That feels really good to me. Then you know, okay, I'm on to something with this one. And so you can always start with one and practice it. And then you can upgrade later, like I said in the beginning. And now it's time to amplify the heart energy. So you have created your intention, you have brought it to your heart center, you felt what it feels like when you feel the manifestation, you feel that you've received that intention. How, do, how does that feel? And so now it's time to amplify your energy. And so you go into that heart center space and amplify it out, amplify it out around your body. And just, you can imagine this in so many different ways, but what I like to do is imagine that there is a bright light in my heart, sometimes a golden light, sometimes white light, whatever feels right to you. And I expand that out. And then I expand it out again to fill the room that I'm in. And I ex keep expanding, expand it out to fill the entire city and country 
country that you're in and keep expanding it out all the way around the earth and out into space. And now you can feel, mm, I am everywhere. I'm no longer centered in this body, in this part of it. You've amplified and expanded yourself to be all of consciousness. You are connected to the divine, to source energy, to God, however you like to say it is fine. But when you're connected to source energy, which we all are, we're all part of source, you are now the, not only the asker, but you're now tuning into being the giver. So as source, you're expanding out into source, I am whole. Now you're not only asking, but you are source itself giving that experience of being whole back to you. And so feel your intention expand out. I am whole. And then leave. You're not actually leaving your body, but your consciousness is no longer stuck to your body. So your consciousness is expanded out, even though you've gone through your heart center, you've gone into the heart, and now you've expanded out to encompass all of space, the universe, however you want to envision it. You are now so big and you are source energy and you are source energy knowing that you are whole and sending it back to yourself as the source, as wholeness. So sending it out, I am whole. And then you are just being in that frequency, that energy, that feeling of I am whole. And this is where you want to spend some time basking, just bask and love the feeling of it. Enjoy it. Let yourself feel the bliss of it. I am whole. I am complete. I am fulfilled in this experience. So you're really being it from the inside out. You're being it in all ways possible. You are source being whole. And then allow yourself then to bring that back, bringing it back to your body. And this is now your truth. So you are experiencing your intention as actualized, as truth, as it has manifest. And so then just bring your consciousness back towards your body. And now as you're embodying it in this piece, you're embodying and claiming it. This is where you get really powerful and you claim it. So now it's time to claim this wholeness for yourself, for your body, for your field of light, I am whole. And in this claiming, you are stating, you're making a strong statement to source. I have embodied this. I have claimed it. It is mine. I anchor it into my body. I anchor it into the earth. I anchor it to central sun. I am whole. And you claim it. And what I like to do in this is I imagine that as I'm claiming it, I'm, see, I'm putting my hands in prayer position over my heart. I'm imagining a line of energy from my crown up to central sun. And then that line of energy comes down through my midsection, through my spinal column to the base of my spine, and then anchors all the way down into the center of the earth. And I am anchored now. I claim it. I am whole. I claim wholeness for my body. And this doesn't have to be an, a, like an angry or aggressive kind of claiming unless that's what you want. Um, this is like a centered, truthful, good feeling claim. I am whole. I am whole. I am whole. And I would repeat that as many times as you need to, to really feel anchored in it, to feel it is anchored in your body, to feel, yes, this is my truth. You're really feeling it now. And finally, you're going to act as if even, you know, maybe you have an, a spontaneous manifestation. That would be fun. But in most cases, there's going to be a leg time between setting your attention and doing this intention work and when your intention manifests. Rest assured, it will manifest quickly, especially and, you know, the, the more out of the way, out of your own way you are, the quicker it will come. I've had things pretty close to instant manifestation with this process. Give yourself space. Don't be um, like grasping for it when you do this. You 
you just want to claim it. And then, and then when you're finished, you've anchored it. You're just acting as if you can have continue to feel good about it. Oh, wow. It feels so good. I have manifest this in my life and then act as if it's already happened. It's already true. And then allow the world of the material, the matter, the world of physicality to fill in. It's a little slower. This work that we're doing, intention work is non-material. When we're, we're, ex we're expanding into our intentions, this is energetic. So the physical world needs a little time to catch up. So just go about your business acting as if this is already so, or this is happening, and then allow it to come to you. And sometimes it comes in subtle, quiet ways. So listen for the whispers. And just the, the important part, part here is not to be grasping for it or trying to make it happen. You already did that with your intention work. You've already done the expansion to open to receive it. Now just allow it to come to you. Just let it come in ease and grace and flow. And it might feel like magic when it shows up. It'll just be, oh, wow, I just asked for this. <laughs> and it can be that easy to do this work and have the manifestation of your intentions realized when you are this intentional about it. And so now I will take you through a meditative experience with all of those elements so that you can close your eyes and go through the process. I'm going to still use I am whole, but you can use another intention or affirmation, whatever it is that you want to use, if that's not the one you want um, for something very specific or something more expanded, whatever it is, is fine. This is just to demonstrate the process for you. So you can really get a sense of it and you can do it with me, or you can do it on your own and it doesn't have to take long at all. You can do it very quickly once you get the hang of it. And it's a lot of fun. It's really a lot of fun to see what happens. And I would love it if you would share with me in the comments, as things manifest for you, what did you manifest? What, what intention did you put out there and what are you receiving? And you can even do this before it happens. You can share with me what your intention is and act as if you've already received it and how excited you are for that, because that is part of the claiming it as well. Okay. So let's step into the meditation part. Begin by getting comfortable in your chair, closing your eyes, and just take some deep breaths into the belly, expanding on the inhale, contracting on the exhale, releasing, letting go of any tension from the body, and just relaxing with every breath. And as you're breathing, Bring to mind the intention that you are working with today. And now bring that intention into your heart center and feel your heart center expanding to receive it. What does your heart feel? about this intention? How good does it feel when this intention is manifest? How does your body feel? What sensations are you feeling in your body? Does it feel good? Does it feel tingly? Does it feel uplifting? What sensations are you feeling energetically? Do you feel an elation? What emotions do you feel in having this intention realized? Are you joyful? Are you grateful? Are you filled with love and excitement, happiness, peace? Very good. Now that you have the feeling of what your intention feels like in the body. Move into your heart center and expand the energy of the heart, expanding out around your body, 
holding your intention in your heart energy and expanding it out to fill the room you're in, expanding it out to fill the city or town that you're in, expanding out around the country and continuing out around the planet and out into space. Now becoming one with space itself. I am. I am whole. I am whole. And feel the expansiveness, tuning into source energy, a source receiving. You are the energy of source. I am source energy. And I am whole. Feel yourself so expanded. So peaceful, so open, so vital. Feel this energy aligning to bring you your intention and then bring it back from the expansiveness of the universe back toward your body. your divine truth. You simply are the one who has received this manifestation, this intention. Feel it. Feel your energy shifting and aligning, aligning with the truth of the you that this has already happened for. I am whole. I am complete. I have realized this intention. It is so. Feel as anything changed energetically, letting yourself move and shift in whatever way is necessary to be, to be complete with having received this truth. And now bringing your awareness back to the body and your hands to the heart center, it's time to claim it. Claim it from your heart and with all of your energy. I am whole. I am whole. I am whole. I anchor it now, anchoring it from the center of the sun, the center of central sun above you, down through your crown, through your spinal column, to the base of the spine, all the way down to the center of the earth, the heart center of central earth. And then let that energy come back up to your heart center. And in your heart, birthing the divine child of infinite possibility, Opening this portal of receiving, I am whole. You have claimed it. It is so. Feel the absolute certainty, being certain and knowing, yes, this intention is manifest in my body, in my energy, in my life. It is so. There is no doubt we have gone beyond doubt to pure knowing. It is so. I am whole. Now just breathe and feel. Feel it, your body and your energy. Feel it in your life. And bring gratitude for this wholeness. being grateful in your heart that you have already received the fruition, the fruits of your intention, gratitude to source divine God, the universe for bringing this to you in such a fun way in ease and flow. And now 
as you come back to full awareness and open your eyes, it's time to act as if. And as you go out into your life, live your life as if this has already happened or is happening now. And do not let doubt come to you. Just act as if. Enjoy it. Feel the joy of it, the experience of it. I am. And be that. And it is so. It is so. Know it in your heart. And it is so. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. I'm Washayla Sananda. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if this is helpful to you. And go out into the world manifesting all of your greatest intentions. I love you. I cherish you. Namaste.